Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Today is October 1st of 2020. It's a whole new month. We're in the last quarter of the year, 90 days left, and uh, and hopefully it'll be a good ending to the year. I have on the screen right now a different view from Fiat Leak that they just launched, I think, yesterday. And what this is, is this is, um, I think it's Tether and Fiat into the different crypto assets. So you can see Bitcoin's flying from here and XRP's flying from up here. So it just shows you the volumes of all their different exchanges from the different assets and what assets people are buying. It's kind of a unique view. I, I kind of like it. Um, pretty cool. I don't know if you can do it worldwide. I just know that you can do it here in the United States for now, but, uh, but this is kind of my first time looking at it. So I'm sure I'll learn more about it as time goes on. So quick look at the market. Market caps at 350 billion, Bitcoin sitting at 10,859. Man, still above 10,000. I mean, that is strong, strong, strong. And uh, Ethereum's at 365 dollars. Heather's uh, Heather, Tether is holding at a dollar. Good for you, Tether. Stay hanging in there, guy. You're doing great. And XRP is just over 24 cents. Um, and I noticed I'm looking at ADA here. Uh, I noticed it's up 28 percent on the seven day, and I just got notification from Bittrex this morning that you can now move, sell, trade, do whatever you want with your ADA, with your Cardano, because it's been locked down for a long time on their site while they were getting the Shelly update uh, fixed. So just so you know, if you've got Bittrex, you can do that now. And moving on. So this was posted by Mac Attack at Mac Attack XRP. He said the hunt for green October 2020. And I agree with him. I hope that October is a green month for XRP and for the crypto market as a whole. And I feel pretty optimistic about October. Uh, so this is the big news I want to share with you guys. Um, this is the Ripple Swell global event. And Ripple sent this to me. And it turns out that uh, that I'm in. So Ripple invited me to, uh, to Swell again this year. I did go last year. And they invited me to go to the virtual Swell this year. And, uh, and I'd just like to say thank you to, to all the folks at Ripple. They're great people. They're, they're, they were incredibly gracious last year. Um, luckily for me, I, I built wonderful relationships with people at Ripple and, and, and have stayed in touch with them over the last year. And I was lucky enough that they invited me back this year. So I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, also got a message from David Schwartz, which is rare, so rare to the point that I've never gotten a message from David Schwartz. That he asked me to to be in a uh, in a panel discussion, which I think is going to be interesting. The first time I had a discussion with David Schwartz, he melted my brain. So hopefully uh, that'll be interesting. I'm excited. Um, going to Swell last year was an amazing experience. I met so many people, people I've been in touch with for the last year from all over the world, so many different countries. It's just literally just this morning. I was messaging with someone from Australia that I met last year. I mean, it's it was an incredible event. You know, obviously this year it's going to be virtual, so it's not going to be as much fun, um, and the intensity is not going to be there. Um, you know, I don't have to take a 24-hour flight, to having drinks and popping Xanax with a digital asset investor because we both hate to fly. But uh, but nevertheless, it's going to be interesting. I don't know what to expect in this year's swell. You know, I definitely don't want to. You know get crazy hyped up about what might happen. Uh, you know, I, I would love to hear some good news, but I don't have any major expectations. I, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting to hear more regulations announced, um, but you just never know what you're going to get out of it. So, so I will be sitting in on swell as they let the schedule out. Um, I'll go ahead and share the schedule with you guys, let you know what the different sessions are going to be. I do need to get back in contact with them over the next several days and find out from them, you know, what's okay to air, what 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 I can do, and, and all that good stuff. So so I need to get all that stuff sorted out. But it's good news. I'm happy, and, and I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful to, to the people at, at Ripple for inviting me, and, um, and and I feel lucky to be invited. So that's just, just good news overall. So Oh, and if you don't subscribe to my channel, how great is the time right now to hit the sub button, guys? So if you want to be up to date on what happens, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel. So please do subscribe to my channel. Um, that would be fantastic. Go ahead and hit the sub button now. 
and we will move on. Okay, so it looks like um, Brian Armstrong, or Brian Armstrong, Brian Brooks uh, from the OCC is actually speaking live today at 12 o'clock. Uh, lays out the roadmap for the agency and changes that set him up to be potentially one of the most trans, uh, transformative controllers in recent history. So he's going to be live today, CBA Live. And I think this is a panel with the SEC, I believe I heard. So you can go to Consumer Bankers Association on Twitter, and I think you could probably watch it right here live on Twitter if you want to watch it. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, people are going to cut it up and post all of the um, uh, all of the updates on Twitter, I'm sure, very, very quickly, so you can catch them there. And also, I never say this on my channel, but if you if you don't follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at XRPMister is my Twitter handle, um, if you do want to follow me there, because I will probably be putting some swell information on there as well, um, yeah, as well as on, on my YouTube channel, which you're listening to now. Okay, this was from Michael at VAL5 link, Interbank Messaging Network Swift is to move into the low value remittance market, providing member banks with the means to make instantaneous transactions across borders for small and medium sized companies and customers. Okay. So I went to Swift's, um, I went to Swift's news article here and essentially we're working on an exciting new service to help financial institutions improve the experience for small to medium size enterprises and consumers to send low value cross border payments. Wow, isn't that isn't that what Ripple does? Isn't that what Ripple specializes in? It sure is. Uh, the new service will enable these bank customers to make faster, easier, predictable, and competitively priced payments around the world. Great, love it. Okay, we're working with 20 banks to develop the service, which builds on the strength of Swift GPI and the high-end rails that have already been trans already transformed the business the business of high-value payments. And then it goes on somewhere down here to say that they're going to add. Let's see here. They're working with 20 banks. They're going to add additional banks. Let's see. Moving down. Okay. Um, last week, the first payments through the new service was successful exchange between banks who are helping to develop it. These banks represent global geographical spread to include. It goes on, it lists the banks, and then it goes on to say, the service is expected to be available to all GPI financial institutions in 2021. And by the way, it also said here, an additional seven banks have signed up for to participate in the pilot phase starting at the end of October. So they're still piloting it. Now, here's the thing, right? So people say, oh my God, well, well, isn't that competition for Ripple? You know what? We don't know how they're doing this yet. We don't know what the tech is. We do know that Swift works with R3. They could be using R3 Corda, um, which can use XRP if they're gonna use instant settlement and not wanna have pre-funded accounts around the world. So we really don't know what the inner workings of this. Uh, doesn't concern me one bit. I'm, I'm not even the least bit concerned. A lot of the banks that that is work that are working with Swift in this um, are are actually uh, um, partners of Ripple as well. So I don't think that's a coincidence. I think this is a good thing, guys. I really do. So moving on, Ashish Birla had posted this. RippleNet is already ISO 220022 uh, compliant, making us well prepared for 2030 with a little smiley and a wink. So I, this is a joke. This is him making a joke, right? So, so you know, everyone talks about being prepared for 2030, which we know is 10 years from now. He's joking, guys. He's not saying they're going to be ready for 10 years from now. What he's telling you is they're ready right now. The tech is available now. They know what they're doing now. They can make it happen now. He's just telling you that they don't need to wait 10 years to make it happen. They're already compliant. They already know what they're doing. They already have the tech. So that's that's just an absolute joke. Okay, from Michael at VAL5, like, wow, one crypto against another. Chainalysis won a contract to create a tool that will let the IRS uh, crack privacy coins like Monero and even BTC on the Lightning Network. So Chainalysis won the contract. I know the IRS was looking to pay $625,000 to someone that can help track uh, track these um, uh, these private um, these private coin transactions, and they're going to be the ones to do it. So this was posted by the digital asset investor Google Ads um, Ripple advertisement. So Ripple, we've been talking about Ripple's been advertising on Instagram on. Facebook, on Twitter. Now they're advertising on Google AdWords and they're advertising, learn more about Ripple, faster cross-border payments. Look, Ripple doesn't need to advertise these things because 
They're, they're a B2B company. They're a business-to-business -business company. They're doing business with banks. Banks aren't going to Google this kind of stuff. I believe this is nothing more than name recognition. They're building the name recognition of the name Ripple so that when they go public, the public will recognize their name. That's my speculation. That's what I think. That's what I think it's all about. But uh, that's just me, guys. That's just me trying to figure it out. Okay, this was from uh, Joni Gilbronson, who's at Gilbronson62 on Twitter. XRP transactions will increase by 1,000% by 2025. Independent researcher predicts a 1,000% increase in XRP transactions by 2025 due to the sustainable nature of the XRP ledger. Well, I think they're short by a thousand percent but I think it's great news it's good to see but I think it's gonna be way more than a thousand percent increase for sure but that's once again is my speculation um, okay this was from XRP the standard productions I thought this was funny interesting that Yoshitaki Katao blocked us maybe he or his people don't understand that it's all just silliness and no harm meant hey um, crypto Ari, does satire not play well in Japanese culture question mark so Apparently he got blocked by Yoshitaki Katao. They they might not get satire over there. One thing I've learned on Twitter over the last several years is not all people from all countries get satire. Not all people get sarcasm. I mean, they just, you know, it doesn't play. We're used to it in the United States, and I know in the UK they do it, but some people don't get it, and, uh, and, and that might be what happened here. So it'd be interesting to see if she responds and what she says. Uh, this came from Gold Telegraph. Spot gold, $1,910. So gold is doing exceptional. You know what that makes me wonder? I love watching Gold Rush and, and, and the other one where they where they get the gold. Um, I can't think of the other gold program I watch, but these crazy people in Nome, Alaska that go diving. Um, uh, anyway, I'm wondering if when these people find gold, do they have to pay the tax when they take the gold out of the ground or do they have to pay the tax... Uh, when they when they actually sell the gold because the reason why I'm saying that is if you're a gold miner You might just hold on to your to your gold bars or your gold flakes or your gold Whatever until the price goes up and then go ahead and sell it I just I just think I don't know, it's kind of the thing I think about when I watch those programs I wonder if they have to pay tax immediately or if they can wait until they sell it I don't know how that works. This was from the Wall Street Journal the Tokyo Stock Exchange halted all stock trading for Thursday session due to system problem it said it didn't know uh, yet whether trading could resume on Friday. I don't know what happened over there. I need to. I need to check. I want to see what's going on over there in Tokyo and what caused that, because that's a big deal. I mean, that, that's craziness. Um, this was from Sum Wallet, and it said another Sum update. Uh, 5, 5.2 hitting the App Store, Play Store today. Oh, did I mention we're at 46,000 users already? This is a beta. This is actually a beta app and it has 46,000 users which is incredible i have it on my phone i honestly have never used it which doesn't mean anything bad i just haven't used it i haven't set it up and, and i'd love to know and i think i've asked you guys before is is there something you love about it that you want to tell me that i sh why i should be using it i would love to know i mean and, and i want to support um we'd see win in what he does he's a fantastic person but but let me know what you like about it and, and let me know if I should use it. Now this was from Weetsy Win and he said and this is this is from August, um, but I think somebody reposted it and I wanted to bring it up to you. It said after receiving a significant significant amount of questions about Zoom being a beta and the amount of XRP that's safe to, to store, this is me answering that question publicly. Your XRP is stored on the XRP ledger, not in Zoom. Zoom is not custodial, keys lost, no recovery. Okay, a lot of people, and, and sometimes I even forget myself, right? You have to remember, XRP never leaves the ledger. The only thing that isn't on the ledger is your keys, is your codes to access your XRP that's sitting on the ledger. So when your XRP is on Bittrex, when your XRP is on um, uh, Coinbase, when your XRP is on your Nano, it's not your XRP on your Nano. It's not your XRP on Coinbase. It's just your private keys. You're having them house or you're housing your private keys on your Nano Ledger. It never leaves the ledger. So all the XRP that was ever created that hasn't been burned, even the ones that have been lost are still sitting on the ledger and they'll never move because... Well, I think it was Mellon lost like a billion XRP when he passed away. That XRP will always be there. It will probably never move because he'll never be recovered. 
But just something I want to point out, I thought it was interesting, and I like the way he, he, he kind of reminded everybody that, the, that your XRP never moves, which I, which I thought was kind of a good reminder. Hey, um, this is the, the Link2 company, and, 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 and I know that not a lot of people are, are accredited investors. In fact, probably the majority of the people that are listening to me, 95% are not accredited investors or whatever it may be. But I want you to know that there's two reasons why you might want to still follow this company. You might still want to download their um, their app. And, you, and, and there's links in the description of this video if you want to download the app, guys. One is if you are an accredited investor, you might be interested in their products. And they've got some, some, some great private investing products that you might be interested. But if you're not an accredited investor, guys, by, by downloading the app and registering, they will still give you access to all their events. So whenever they have an event, which which includes billionaire investors that are in the crypto industry, you will have access to their events. You'll have access to their events in, in North America. You'll have, have access to their events that they have over in Asia. Um, so it's really neat. If you wanna have access, you don't have to be a um, accredited investor to have access. They have uh, they have told me that go ahead and invite everybody to sign up if they want to. We want you know we want the crypto people to uh, the crypto community to have the ability to access our um, our platform and our events. So you've been invited to join if you want to join. It's completely up to you if you'd like to do that. And this is a video. I'm going to play this video. It kind of blew my mind. These two girls on skateboards it's really i mean honestly i wish they were wearing a lot more protective gear because this is dangerous stuff i mean really dangerous but uh these girls are like superstars i'm going to play this while i read my disclaimer and i'll let you guys watch that and i'm not a financial advisor i'm not an accountant i am not a frequent flyer and i'm not a crypto expert these are my opinions only don't make any financial decisions based on anything i say Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see my, my Swell updates, please subscribe now. That would be fantastic. Hit the like button if you would. Every time you hit the like button, I find that maybe four or five more people watch my videos. And also share my videos with anybody who you think might appreciate them or share my channel with anybody who you think might appreciate it. I thank you all for watching. Look at these girls on these skateboards. It's insanity. Absolute insanity. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to let it play out till the end of the video if you guys want to watch the rest of it. And I'm going to sign off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. God, for those of you who stayed until the end, I never watched it to the end. That was insane. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. Everyone have a great day.